Hello everybody and welcome, it's Sesame Mad Haven here today and I want to share with you guys my opinion on key cards. So key cards in this game, they can be, yeah sure, they're, they're considered a, a loot box. But for newer players or people who play the game to begin with, I find key cards to be very valuable for a one-time purchase. Or let's say you're getting ready for a grind and you're a little bit short-handed on boosters, or let's say you're new to the game and you're just looking to get a couple of, you know, premium tanks. Honestly, for a newer player um, who's just starting out the game, I would not recommend to go for top secret key cards right away. Uh, just because the value inside them it is it pays off more whenever you're a higher player, I, I guess is the best way to put it. But starting off, confidential key cards will be your best friend. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening these. You guys will see the drop pools. Drop pools do change every couple of months or every couple of weeks. It just depends on reward gaming wants to do it. Now, with key cards, um, I just opened a top secret. I like how it swapped. Okay, but with key cards, they, they swap according to what is inside the game. What, what tanks players have at the moment. And what I mean by that is... A tank people do not have, for instance, is a tank you're more than likely going to get inside the keycard drop rate. For instance, the TS-5 is in rotation right now, and the TS-5 is a tank not a lot of people have their hands on. Now, the benefit to opening keycards is there's boosters. For instance, you're seeing free XP, 400, 250 gold out of the uh, confidential keycards here. Uh, we also got a tier 3 tank as well, which I don't know if I got gold value, or maybe I didn't have the tank to begin with. Which means, as a newer player, I just got a premium tank that has a 30% to 20% silver earn bonus, and whatever comes down to it, that's actually really good to have. It's a bonus to begin with. You're not losing out on anything. You have the bonus now. You have something to additionally help you three times experience booster right here for vehicle xp not a crew xp bonus a vehicle xp bonus which means that with your daily double you know you had that one match every single day that if it's a win you're gonna get your hands on double the experience if you stack a key card well not a key card but you stack a bonus on top of that a booster you're gonna be looking at maybe 12,000 experience to 20,000 experience for that single match that you played depending on how you performed which inside of a tech tree grind can be tremendous that can be the next gun upgrade that can be the next tracks upgrade helping improve your power to weight getting your tank moving correctly another two times experience bonus right there um me Whenever I open key cards, I'm not expecting to get a tank. I don't ever look forward to getting a tank out of opening a key card. Um, whenever I open key cards, if I'm opening top secret, that's because I'm getting gold. If I'm opening confidential, that's because I'm looking to fill up bonuses, additional free XP, a little bit of gold, maybe some really nice little tier 3 premiums there we go we got another one more than likely we did get the gold value for that tank yes we did plus 1000 and i mean even opening these smaller cards they can pay off in the end because of all the bonuses that you're going to be getting the little bit of gold you're going to get to respec your crew to retrain a crew to transfer a crew to a completely different nation um honestly i'll jump in the crews on a later date with what my opinion is on them and what they should do to improve them making them overall better because as of right now uh premium crews and crews in general they seem to be a little bit lackluster whenever it comes down to it so yeah a later date i'll jump into crews talk about crews but today we're on key cards key cards in this game the reason why i open a pretty hefty amount of them at, at times is because i'm i work I work a lot. I enjoy World of Tanks. Um, I'm one of the guys that if the game is treating me correctly, I will spend money on it. Uh, the reason why I spend money on the game is because I support Wargaming. You know, it's like, because if, if none of us spent money on this game, then how would they keep the servers running? How would they get new content out? How would they really do anything? You know, so I'm, I'm, I contribute my money to the game and my time to the game. 
I log in, I play for a few hours every single day, I enjoy my time playing the game. Honestly, this is probably like the most boring thing you guys could ever watch. That's why we have music now, uh, because without it, I would be going insane. Because key cards are just beyond slow. Period. Oh, me brain. Oh, look, we got another one. So we got two additional cards. Plus, with the chances to get an additional card, that also does make a really big difference. Now, there's not a whole lot to talk about key cards. I, I don't think they're a bad thing in the game. You know, there's no point to sit here for an hour talking about them because it, it's just gonna be, I'm just gonna start holding the skip this because we're gonna go through these quick. I'm not even worried about this. Once we hit the confidential, once we're done with these, moving on to the classifieds, you know, but in all reality, key cards, they're not a bad thing. If you guys are looking to get your hands on uh, additional gear in game, a little bit of gold in game, key cards are definitely the way to do it. In my opinion, every single time I've opened key cards, especially the top secrets, I get more value out of them than I would spending $100 on just pure gold in game. And that's if you're willing to spend $100 on pure gold in game. I know some people, we have a younger group that is just completely unable to spend that amount of cash on the game because it's just unfathomable. But it is completely okay. And, you know, it's just, there's not a whole lot to talk about. They're here. They have a drop pool. There's tanks you can get there's bonuses dude honestly key cards i don't think they're a bad thing if anything i think these were a really good idea to put in the game but at the same time you know it's like if you're looking to get a tier 8 premium i would actually rather spend a hundred dollars to open 27 key cards t34 premium vehicle and i didn't have that so i now have a new tier 5 premium so yeah honestly there is not much to talk about whenever it comes down to it. They're key cards. You don't need the monologue for 15 minutes opening them. So we're just gonna we're gonna speed rush these and I'll give you guys my opinion right after. We had a four times experience bonus for a crew. That's gonna help out crew training. So, you know, it's like this is probably the most boring thing I could probably do, but I said I was gonna do it, so guess what? I'm doing it. Not gonna monologue about BS and uh, just diss out these cards. So we got one tank out of the uh, classified. Yeah, classified cards. Now up to the top secret cards. So the prize pools, I bought the most expensive ones. I bought one stack of each for the most expensive ones because I can. I'm gonna support the game. I'm here to support the game. And even if I don't get the value of what I put into it. I am completely okay with that. I'm actually going to take these cards slower. There is a strategy on opening these. Uh, normally, whenever I open key cards, I'm not, you know, taking, I'm not speed rushing it like I am now. Normally, whenever I open key cards, it's I'll open two after a match and then I'll do it that way or I'll open one a day, just really depending on what it is. Uh, but for me, key cards, speed opening them, I never really found to be beneficial opening them all in one sitting. Uh, because if you let them stack up and you hold on to them for a while, you open up two every single day. It's just that extra little bit that you can get off the top secrets. But like with confidentials and everything else, if you're going for boosters, if you're going for a little bit of extra silver, if you're going for a little bit of extra free XP to try and get stuff and just let it kind of come in and stack up slowly that is in my opinion one of the better ways to do it now don't get me wrong it can be a complete and utter nuisance just because of the price tags and then you're sitting there and you're watching it and you're like well i want to get a tank out of this well you're never guaranteed a tank but with everything else that they offer you the silver the experience the additional gold you see, now we're just stuck on repeat. This is why opening this mini was too much. I should have did like five of each. And just talked about my opinion that way. 
but oh look another card i don't think key cards are a bad thing opening them all the time however can be a bad thing but like a one-time deal or let's say there's a couple of tanks in rotation there's a tier 8 premium that just came out and there's a strategy to opening key cards uh, one of the best strategies is to get on the website take a look at what tanks are in the drop pool you know take a look at what you have inside your garage now um all the tanks you have inside your garage if you have let's say like 50 percent of what they have inside the key cards why not open a batch of them because if you get one of the cards then you now have a chance to buy the new premium tank that just came out and you're going to get your money back plus some whenever it comes down to key cards there have been moments that i've opened up top secret key cards just 27 of them and i got my hands on over 70,000 gold but that doesn't mean it's going to happen to everyone that everyone's going to be able to get 70,000 gold each time you open these it is a chance it is based upon rng this entire game is based upon rng but it's not a bad thing to purchase a couple of key cards every single once in a while. There are other ways of earning key cards, and one of the entire reasons why I've been pushing to try and get the devs to bring back ranked gameplay, because we need something to help out the free-to-play players. Um, for me, key cards is a way to help out the free-to-play players. You know, we have missions that pop up that we can complete to get our hands on an additional key card, or swapping around and doing ranked gameplay back in the day to get the war chest whenever war chests were inside the game. Honestly, I think the war chest animation was cooler than this because, you know, the chest dropped down, it was big all bright, and you're like, oh, what did I get? And now this is just like, oh, hey, watch me click some buttons. Look to my left. Open oh, whatever that is. It's like a nuclear launch code system right here. But there is a real big limitation to what you should be expecting out of key cards you know don't go in opening key cards expecting to get your hands on multiple tanks because it's not guaranteed whenever you buy key cards it should be because you're looking to get a couple of bonuses a little bit of experience bonuses a little bit of silver bonuses and there we go we're completely out of key cards 79 of them by the way I'm going to open up my boosters. I'm going to head down to my silver boosters. So I got uh, like four or five, two times silver bonuses. So not exactly a greatest drop right there. But the fact is, I got a couple. And if I get some good matches, I'm going to make some really good. That's my alarm to wake up. I'm going to make some really good silver, depending on my matches. Honestly, if you guys like Cold War and you play Cold War, you have a premium in Cold War. I don't play Cold War can't stand it but i know for a fact you can take one of these silver bonuses jump in the cold war and you have a premium in cold war and you can make an absolutely outstanding amount of money so it is without a doubt a loot box but is it a bad loot box no it's not one of the biggest reasons why i'm saying it's not a bad one is because we have a system in game called your career let's go ahead and open up career now if you guys don't know about career you're able to actually get on the website and look at what they offer which i probably should have had pulled up to begin with but me i'm a slacker and i think about stuff uh like way 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 too late because this was kind of a rush i'm just here to do this right now Okay, Tinker Rewards, my Tinker Rewards. I'll bring you guys over with me. Hello, I have one ear out. But um, the rewards and everything that they can offer, as I believe I went to the wrong spot for like the ninth time in a row because I'm not logged in, so I gotta go my stats. Because Wargaming's website is amazing. And it does really, 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 really dumb stuff. All the time. And it takes a year to do anything and calculate stuff all right but here we go we're at a triple a so right now we have three days of premium and one top secret key card uh when you reach triple a okay other than that we're going to be getting uh xp 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 camouflage voucher i have like 90 of them but key cards are fantastic 
Uh, there needs to be more ways to earn them for free. If there was more ways to earn them for free, it would be amazing. Uh, but since ranked gameplay is not back in the game, it kind of does suck a little bit that they don't have it. And it would be nice to get it back. But, yeah, that's about it. Key cards, they're totally worth it depending on what you're going for. Uh, other than that, everyone that made it here to the end of the video, drop a comment down in the comment sections. I want to hear your guys' best stories uh, about someone you met in-game or something that happened. And I will go through and I will pick two winners. Drop your... Uh, by the way, Xbox only. I'm sorry, you guys. PlayStation, I'm leaving you out all the time. That's how it goes. Uh, but we're not giving away the Ragnarok. It's It's going to be literally a roll of a dice. Actually, we might do, we might give away. It doesn't matter between Ragnarok, Hydra, or Minotaur. It's literally going to be a roll of a dice. Ragnarok is 1, 2. Hydra is 3, 4. Minotaur is 5, 6. It's a 6-sided dice. I'm just going to roll it. Uh, the other winner, well, your year is going to be set with 360 days of premium. So, yeah. I didn't know what to do with the gold that I got out of this, because there's no new tanks coming out. I don't really like cold war too much so i'm not buying the cold war tank so if you guys want a chance to win one of those um i want to hear a story i want to hear a situation in world of tanks uh, like amazing comeback or like uh, a way you met a friend it doesn't matter like just i want to hear a story other than that you guys it was nice having you here thank you for you know sitting and hearing me monologue for uh like i don't know 15 minutes about key cards I don't think they're bad. I think Wargaming should add more ways to get them for free. Ranked gameplay would be the best. Other than that, I'm out of here. You guys have a fantastic day, night, morning, whatever time it is that you are catching this. And I will catch you guys all next time. But don't forget, you want a chance to win one of the uh, Crimson Pack tanks and a year of premium, two winners. I'll let you know in the comment section who wins because I'll be taking the time out tomorrow to read them. So it is going to be November 11th that I will be choosing the winners. Other than that, I'm out of here. You guys have fun. Oh yeah, don't forget to drop your Xbox link as well. That way I can add you.